Hey folks, Neil here again from ECS Coffee. And one of the most popular uh, comparison videos we have done has been the Barista Express by Breville and the DeLonghi La Specialista. So today we just wanted to show some people what the insides of these machine, machines look like. Now, uh, I'm not the technical guy. I have my technician off camera who's a little camera shy, who's gonna walk me through a little bit of this at times. But um, what we're seeing here are both machines made in China. Um, some people have asked, what does the inside look like? So we're gonna give you a, sort of a quick view. I'm gonna point out a few things, um, differences. So uh, to start, before we get into that, as you probably know, plastic tanks. Uh, and, and some people are saying, you know, is how much plastic do these machines touch? Well, you're gonna get to see exactly what it is. We don't think it's an issue. Uh, nowadays, the plastics and the tubing that, that are made in these, it's commercial grade um, and highly tested. So it's not gonna be an issue, but for some people, they just need to know. So uh, we're gonna show you the inside of the Brist Express first, and then the Specialista as much as we can without taking the entire machine apart, um, just so you can have a look. This might also stop some of you from trying to fix the machine yourselves, because when you see this, I don't know why you would even try, um, unless you're a technician. There's a lot of moving parts in here that make these things. And that's also what makes them a great price point um, when you're looking at an espresso machine in the you know, $500 to $1,000 price range. And that's Canadian. So let's not compare us to the rest of the world. Okay, so let's look at the Barista Express. So we've got the back of the Breville Barista Express open. Uh, not a lot for me to talk about not being technical and not a lot that you're gonna actually get out of this. But for those that wanna see what you're buying, the innards of the machine, this is it here. Uh, Thermoblock uh, heater, stainless steel. Um, we have our uh, steel burr grinder. Um, only adjust this when you have beans in function and operation inside of your grinder because you don't want to cause yourself any, any problems. Uh, plastic gear, which is pretty standard on, on this. Um, and you've got some, you know, uh, plastic tubing, uh, obviously food grade, uh, some, you know, some valves and, and your, your standard stuff that you would find in an espresso machine. So for those that care and you want to see, yes, you are going to have some plastic tubing in this machine. Um, we don't see it as an issue. Uh, overall, don't work on this yourself, get a professional to do it. So now we're gonna pop over to the La Specialista and see what is different about La Specialista. So La Specialista, taking out the main, uh, basically the cover on the top, uh, you don't actually get as much access to the machine as you do with the, the Barista Express. Uh, there are two heating um, systems inside the Specialista. Barista Express has the one, um, so you might have to cool down your, um, or, or flush out your, um, your steam wand to cool down for espresso or wait for it to heat up. Although our store manager says it's very quick and never an issue. Especially says ready to go with the separate heating system. Uh, again, thermal block, but we can't see it if you're looking down. Uh, we do see though is a very similar grinder, plastic gear, not as many gear adjustments on this guy, but it does have the smart grind technology um, built into it, which so you don't need as many adjustments according to DeLonghi. So very, very similar inside in a lot of the components uh, and the way that the functionality looks again, but there's, it's much, much harder <clears throat> excuse me, to um, get into the Specialista. But that's it guys, very quick overview of the machines. We actually love them both here at, at ECS Coffee, Brist Express being uh, the more popular, but La Specialista also being new, um, newer to us, and we're seeing a lot of traction on this machine. So, well that's it guys for La Specialista and the Breville on the inside. As you can see, there's not much to look at. Uh, thanks for tuning in, subscribe below, like us. Look out for other videos that compare these two uh, machines, as well as the how to get to the Optimum Zone on La Specialista. That'll help you out if you want to learn more about this guy. Have a great day.